feel its end band right there. It's kind of hard to feel the top so that we can grab it and pull it down. Usually mid portion of our tendon due to watershed area. So you have some of the blood coming down, blood spiking it down from the muscles, some coming up from the bone, and it kind of peters out of the middle and that's called a watershed area. It also happens if you wear the maximum of stress it puts, so you're playing basketball or running and all that, it, it breaks down, it doesn't really heal itself, and then eventually it pops. And the way this works is, you see these two little shoehorns that go on the inside, but this was pulling down, so we're gonna put the first needle in, but then we're gonna leave this one because it's probing the tendon down. So we pulled it down and now we've got through the skin, through the tendon and through the skin on this side, it's holding the rest of the tendon down. Now, we're gonna pass these others in the suture. So number two, so now we got the suture that goes through the inner part of this, through the tendon, through the middle part of that metal right here, through the skin, so that we're passing the suture through. So when we pull it out, these little metal things, you're gonna pull the sutures on the inside through the tendon. See how these little metal things, they're pulling the suture on the inside of the tendon shoe. We have completely grasped the tendon. So I'm inside the tendon sheath and I've got a really strong control of the Achilles tendon up here. On the inside of the tendon sheath, what it loaded. All we're doing is holding the two ends together until it can scar and heal. We leave it the way it was. The ends tore and pulled apart when it's scarred and it's going to be separated. And so your calf muscle is not going to have the proper tension. And again, this is pulling this on the inside. I pretend it. I like to have out like this. What do we have? Money. Because people have a white collagenous tendon and how yeah, very muscular. Which is why I made kind of normally my incisions about half that big. And then we did toxin test. See how I screw the cap for toast point? That tells him to be the reason is how it's at. You can see his foot is bent here. It doesn't reduce yet. You can't get a plant to grade foot. But usually by the time you come back to the first post op visit in about five days, take the splint off. Because as soon as you can get his heel on the floor and have it flat, yeah. Then we put him in a cast through and a lot of weight bearers tolerate it. You know, without doing this technique, people can't be weight bearing for long periods of time and they all like it. Our stereo strips will adhere to the skin and stay there, which will leave these on for about 10 to 14 days. But the patients can just get into the shower and take a regular shower and get them wet. This material expands with swelling and contracts of the swelling it down. So we're gonna inject into the tendon sheath with this mixture of PRP and anesthetic.